It's Runway Monday. Hey, hey, y'all. It's Nicole Davis, Runway Coach Extraordinaire. And you know what today is. It's a Runway Monday. And I'm here with more helpful runway walking tips. And today's Runway Monday tip is all about how to walk in evening gowns with long trains and what to do with your arms. I love this Michael Cinco fashion show from a few years back because it has such beautiful gown design. And there's gonna be a lot of examples here for me to discuss. First off, if you have pockets in your evening gown, we want to see them. Show them off, place your hands in the pockets, keep your elbows back. We all love a dress with some pockets, right? But an evening gown with pockets is a rare thing to see. If you have a puffy evening gown, the key to this is to keep your arms back and don't swing them. You wanna kind of tuck your arms behind the puffiness of the gown and let the gown do all the talking and you do all the walking. You also can put your hands on your hips, but sometimes that can be a distraction from the garment. If you have a long dress, you have two options. You can kind of kick the dress forward as you walk to make sure that you don't step on the dress as you're walking. Also, depending on the gown, if it's more of kind of a flowy type gown, another option is to take some of the gown in both of your hands and as you're walking and moving your arms, move the dress along with you. That gives the dress movement and lessens the chance of you stepping on it as you're walking. Lastly, walking with trains. When you have a long train, the key is keeping the train behind you. You cannot get all wrapped up and caught up in the train. So when you're leaving the tip of the runway, you can't simply turn around and exit like you would in any other garment. In order to leave and to keep the train behind you, you need to make a U at the tip of the runway in order to exit. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Runway Monday. Come back next week for more helpful runway walking tips.